What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? You know what time it is. It is time for new mod showcase. Hopefully you guys have an amazing Tuesday. You know what, let's just get into this. Go to the mod section, click the show all mods, of course. Go to the latest, and today we got 11 new mods. Uh, let's see, one, two, three new updates, and I believe this is a new map on console, which is Euro Farms. You know what, let's roll the intro and let's get into these updates. Okay, so the first one to take a look at is Ugensham. Let's take a look at it. Let's see the change log. Seven completely new farms built in the village. Manure system ready. Biogas plant replaced. Cell points rebuilt. Driving silos replaced can be filled. Bushes inserted in landscaping. Forest areas revised. Some grass missions added. Trees reduced so that new ones can be planted and various visual improvements. So that is pretty much a brand new map to me. So there is that one right to there. Okay, and the next one is the Roland Turbo 160. What did this change? Improved all dirt textures and visual improvement of the fill volume. So there's that one. The next one is the Case IH 1030 pack. What did this change? Let's see, go down right there. Uh, fixed harvesting problem with the Case IH 2100 series twin wheels. So that fixed that. And then also we did get a new map, which was Euro Farms, which I believe it's new map on console. Uh, but we'll take a look at that maybe in another video. But we're going to go over to Lono and take a look at the Class Zerion 3000 Saddle Track, the Case W20E, the MGW1800, the Ponja Nova Disc Pack, the Lizard Poplar Cutter, Timbered Farm Extensions, Self Made Weight Pack, Hydraulic Bollard, uh, Equipment Barn, Medium Concrete Shed, and the Panel Fence and Gate. So, you know what? Let's head on over there. Okay, so the first mod to take a look at today is the MGW1800. It is 1.8 meters. It does require 80 horsepower. It is two slots. Let's see, options on that. There is absolutely no options on that. And this is, of course, in the subsoiler. So there's that one. And the next one is a pack. And this is the Pottinger Nova Disc Pack. There is three of them right there. Let's see, they're both eight slots. Let's see, they range from 2.6 meters all the way up to 3.5. It does require 50 horsepower on that one, 60 on that one, and 70 horsepower on that one. 13 miles an hour working speed. Let's see, is there any options for that? Yes, main color, either yellow rubber or yellow plastic. Can you really tell the difference? Oh yeah, you could definitely tell the difference. Look at that. There's that one, and then switch it back over to the rubber. Yeah, you could definitely tell the difference. Okay, design color, you got black rubber, you got yellow rubber, you got black plastic or yellow plastic. Let's change that over. Yeah, you can you can see that. Okay, then on options, you got the hydraulic oil expansion take. Yes or no, which that looks like it moves that right there. Uh, we got the swath plate. Yes or no. Green logo. Yes. Wait, it's on no or yes, which I don't see. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, PTO, the yellow. We got the black. Let's see. There it is right there. And that is it on that one. I believe these other ones are pretty much the same. Yeah, it looks like it's exactly the same. So that is the Pondra Nova Disc Pack. Really nice pack. And here is the next one. This is the Lizard Poplar Cutty. Let's see, it's five slots, 2.0 working meters. And of course it does poplar. We don't really get much poplar stuff. Okay, you got the main color. You got any color you can think of. Design color the same, rim color the same. And decals, you have New Holland, you have Case IH, you have Kloss, and then John Deere, the vent, Crone, Mossy, Russell Mash, and then back to none. There is a lot on there. So there is that one. Looks really good right there. Okay, so that is there. That. Sorry. There's that. That. <laughs> and the next one is these two right here, which is the self-made weight pack. There is two of them. Let's see. 11 slots for that one and 18 slots for that one. Uh, 1,240 kilograms for that and 2,400 for that one. Let's see. Options. You got reflectors. No. Red side, side reflectors, red middle reflectors, uh, red reflectors all, and then back to yellow, middle, let's see, white, and then back to no. Attachers, you have a standard attacher, you have hitch attacher, you have rope attacher, you have towing chain, and then back to standard. Let's see about this one. Uh, attachers, you have, let's see, standard, hitch, hitch with rope, three-point attacher. So this one has a three-point attacher on it. Uh, Three-point attacher with hitch, three-point attacher with hitch and rope, and then back to standard. So that is the self-weight pack. Really cool. Okay, now the next ones we're going to go over is the placeables. We're going to be saving the class and the case for later on after these placeable pack right here. 
Okay, so first one we're gonna look for is the Timbered Farm Extensions. So let's go over here, Sh maybe under sheds, nope. Uh, decorations maybe, nope. Miscellaneous, I uh, think that is it. No, that's not it, there's the hydraulic. There they are right there. We got the archway, we got well, we got lamp, we got wall one, two, wall uh, pillars, and gate, and there they are right there that range from, let's see, all the way from six slots, five, six, three, three, five, and then back to zero. Let's place down a few of them real quick. Let's place down this archway. It's kind of cool looking archway right there. We've got a well, got a lamp, does 360 rotation on that. We got wall one, which we place right there. Wall two, let's see, wall pillars, gate, and that is it on that one. Okay, let's take a look at it in here. Does these doors actually, oh, they do open. Oh, please tell me this opens. That is nice right there. Also has lights on there, so that's pretty cool. I just wish it uh, opened a little bit slower. And that's just me. Then we got the well right here. We got the lights, which is a nice little light. We have some fences and then the other gate right there. This is a really nice pack right here. Okay, so there is that one. Okay, the next one we're gonna be taking a look at is the hydraulic bollard. And this is actually by Mappers Paradise, the same people that are bringing the Millennial Farmer map. Okay, let's take a look at them. They are right here. Uh, let's see, one slots. Yes, one slot that goes all the way from 150 all the way up to 450. As you guys can see, there's one, two, and then a three one right there. Let's put the three one down real quick. Okay, so it can be placed in the road right there. So that's pretty cool. Let me place that one right there. Let me place this one right here. Okay, so there they are right there. Let me actually bring up the help menu. Okay, open gate. Hey. <laughs> That, that's kind of cool right there. This could be fun to multiplayer, you know, like one of your friends driving down the road and you just bam right into them, right? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the two sheds. Let's go over to sheds right here. There, there is the first one. This is the equipment barn, which is two slots. $25 a day is $15,000. And let's see, three inches of rotation on this one. So let's put this down real quick. Okay, so there it is right there. Really nice inside. Uh, is there a light switch? I don't see a light switch, so it probably comes on automatically. So uh, let's see, gates, nothing on that. So just a really nice shed right there. Okay, and then the next one, let's go over sheds. Let's go to right here. And this is the medium concrete shed. Seven slots, $20,000. Uh, let's see, rotation on that is 300 rotation. Can I place this thing right here? Yeah, let's place it right there. Okay, so there is this one. It is a drive-through one. So really nice. This one does have a light switch. So really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. See, I love the shadows in this game. Okay, we got one more placeable to look at. Let's go over here. Let's go into miscellaneous. And there they are right there. This is the panel, fence, and gate. Uh, let's see, they range from two, three, about two to three slots right there. We got a uh, panel fence right there. We got a panel fence right there. And then panel gate right here. So let's go back and take a look at these really quick. There they all are. Opens, yes. And we got the fence and then we got the post right there. Okay, so there is that pack. So that is all the placeables. Now we got two more mods to check out, which is Probably my favorite mods for the day so far. So here we go. And here we go. The first one is actually the Case W20E, which is right there. It is 95,000, so it is a lot cheaper than that one. Uh, let's see, it has 11 slots. Let's see, options on this one. We have Michelin tires, Nikian, and back to Michelin. So let's get this real quick. And then also with this pack, if you go over to the tool section, go to wheel loaders, and then right at the end, there we go right there, the Shell W20E, which is 3,600. Three slots, holds up to 3,000 liters on that. Uh, options on that, there is no options. Okay, so let's bring this over here real quick so we can take a look. Come on, there we go, and there we go. Okay, so right down here. Also make sure I get the help window up. Okay, looks really nice from the outside. It is small, 
but it is nice. Okay, let's get inside. Let's see, select camera. You got that camera right there. Just two cameras on this one. Uh, let's see, up and down. Those look like they all work fine. Horn, and that is it on that. Here is the interior. Let's try out the lights real quick. One, two, three. Three sets of lights. Does have turn signals. Okay, does this all light up inside? Yes, it does. Okay, let's turn that on. Nice engine sounds. Top speed is 27 miles an hour. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the engine. Okay, so there's that. Really nice engine sound though. Okay, let's go ahead and hook this up real quick. Okay, there's that. As you guys can see. Works perfectly. I like this one. Wow. Those fla that looks like it's flashing right there, doesn't it? On the door? Or is that just me? Yeah, it looks like those things are like flashing. Huh. It's just probably me. Okay, so there is the Case W20, really nice. Okay, now we're gonna be taking a look at is the big pack, so here we go. And here it is right here, this is Class Zerion 3000 Saddle Track. It is under the large tractor section, $330,200. Uh, let's see, 27 slots. This can also be hooked up, looks like, to the Sunhammer and the TX-118. Uh, so this is a, like it says on the bottom, is a carrier vehicle. Special tab attachments like the slurry tank or manure spreader modules allow you to do different tasks on this one. So let's see, ram color, let's see what colors. We got red, white, gray, black, or chrome. Design, you have chrome grid, chrome uh, black grid, or green. Main colors, you have green, black, white, orange, red, and blue. Let's see, Will Branch, you have Trailborg, Michelin, Midas, Nikian. Trailborg, you have the 650 885R38s, the Airs, 710R42s, the wide tires, twin wheels, narrow tires, narrow twin wheels, and then back there again. Weights, you have no or yes, which it puts the weights in the back. That's kind of cool right there. Okay, attachers, you have the 1800 kilogram front weight, which let me go over here real quick. You guys can see right there, we have 220, 2600 front attacher, and then back to there again. Engine setup, the 3300, which is 379, the 3800, which is still 379, and then back to 335. I think it was messed up right there for a second. Hmm. Uh, side sign, you have standard, you have EU, you have back to standard, uh, and there is that right there. Also did come with some attachments, so let's go over the attachments real quick. Okay, and here is two of the attachments right here. We have the Zunehammer Slurry Tank GF-15E, which is 60,000. Uh, let's see, there's four slots, let's see options on that. You got green, black, white, orange, red, and blue for colors. You have main color, yellow or gray. Design, you have no. You have yes, it basically just puts those stripes right there. So let's get this thing real quick. And then we have also a pump right there, which you guys can change the color from green, black, white, orange, red, or blue. Design yes or no on that. So let's just get this real quick. So that is pretty cool right there. I think this might actually, it looks like this would work with maybe the manure system on PC too, as you guys can see that right there which if it does that, that's gonna be pretty cool right there. And I think this is the last one on it. This is the Lizard TX-118. Uh, holds 8,000 liters, it is five slots. And as you guys can see, it looks like it holds lime, seeds, and fertilizer right there. Uh, let's see, options on this. Main color, any color you can think of, and design color, any color you can think of. But of course, most people are probably going to pick the class colors, which is right there. Uh, come on, go back up. Can I go back up? Hold on a second. Okay, back down there, and then class right there, and maybe keep it black, and then let's see design. You have no, you have yes, you have Limkin, you have Horsh, you have Kuhn, you have Vertistad, and then back to there again. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. Okay, let's bring them all over here, and we'll take a look at them. Uh, let's bring that over here, that over here, that over here, and that over here. Okay, so there they all are right there. Really nice. Okay, let's bring up the help window. There we go. Okay, so here is inside the vehicle. 
You have cameras, one, two, just regular cameras. So you have lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights, beacons, turn signals, uh, when we're in here. Looks like, yes, everything does light up. Top speed is 34 miles an hour. Uh, let's see, all wheel steering. You have steering modes. You have all wheel steering, front wheel steering, crab steering left, crab steering right, and back to all wheel steering. And then that is it on that. So let's turn this thing on real quick. Okay, really nice. Everything lights up as you guys can see right there. That all pops on. Okay, looks like everything works. You guys can even see the speedometer thing moving over there. Top speed is 34 miles an hour. Oh, this thing is really nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just slid out. <laughs> okay, so let's go hook this thing up to something real quick. You know what? Let's actually go and hook it up to this right here, the Zune Hammer. Come on, stop. Okay, let's go over here. Hooks up just like that. Really nice. Okay, so how do you hook up that thing? Probably have to figure that out later. Okay, I know why now. <laughs> Gotta make sure I have the front attacher. There we go. I guess okay, so there's that right there. As you guys can see, you can also turn on the pump. So that's pretty cool right there. Okay, let's actually hook up this one just to see how it looks. Okay, so there is that. It's really nice. Let's see, open the cover. So there's the cover opening. Wow. This pack is amazing right here. Okay, so there is the new mods for today. Let me know which one's your guys' favorite. I'm going to have to say the Class Zerion 3000 Saddle Track. I mean, it is an amazing mod. So like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't done, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace.